Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello there. It's great to be back with you. What a busy week we had last week. We had multiple My Future Business show interviews happening and I had such a great time learning from my guests, learning about their businesses and what they're up to. And I'm hoping that if you are a listener of the My Future Business show, that you took away some value from listening. Now on today's call, I want to talk about something that's far from new, but certainly something that um, I knew of many, many years ago, and it's popped up again. And I thought, well, Sometimes there are uh, people listening in that may not have heard about these types of things. So I want to talk about a um, a thing called Ikigai. Now, if you're wondering what Ikigai actually means, Ikigai is a Japanese thing, I guess a concept, and it's basically translated into your reason for being. Now, this matters because Everything that you do comes back to the things that you love doing, the things that you're passionate about, um, the things that you are good at. For example, I believe I'm good at podcasting. So I've turned that into my vocation and helping people through the My Future Business show. And what mission that you're on is also part of Ikigai. Um, In terms of my own mission, just to give you an example, is to get you in front of your best audience and keep you there. And the part of that mission is because I believe the rate of failure in small to medium sized businesses is unacceptable. And um, my mission is to do something about that. So there's that. And last but not least, the last quadrant of this is what you can get paid for. And those four things, the what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs and what you can be paid for, all end up in your ikigai. And as they all come together, this is where you will find, I guess, your, you get into your flow state and you will you know, be so happy and so in the moment and so satisfied. And this isn't just about your business or being you know, that professional that you've always dreamed of, or it's not even about money, but it's, it's very much about how, how satisfied you are uh, and fulfilled you are and how much you're contributing to the greater good in whatever area is of interest to you. It does actually lead to living a a healthier, a happy uh, and purposeful life. Now, if you have these dimensions in place, congratulations, you're living your best life basically. But if you're not, take these four quadrants, again, the what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs, your mission, and what you can be paid for. And if you can intersect them all together, then you have found that sweet spot that is going to help you achieve amazing results today, tomorrow, in the future, not only for yourself um, professionally, but personally as well. And I think that is a massive takeaway, at least for me, is that there was a time where I was doing things that I was doing great. I was getting lots of money, but that was the thing. I was miserable. I was focusing on the money. I knew at the time that, yeah, you know, I don't like this particular thing I'm doing, but I'm going to keep doing it because the money's great. But there's always that, you know, that feeling that you get that something's missing. So that's the, I guess that's the benchmark. If you, if you're involved in something and you feel like something's missing, check your ikigai. Are you actually achieving those four things that I've talked about multiple times throughout this call? I would love to hear your thoughts on this because it's that important. Please come on over to the Podcasting Central Group and share your view on this. Um, Tell us what you're into, what your passions are, what you're good at, what your mission is going to be if if you don't already have one, and what you're doing professionally now. Uh, Inside the Podcasting Central Group, there's podcasters in there. There's people looking to be a part of podcasts. They're in different niches, niches, call it what you will. Um, but everybody and anybody is invited to the Podcasting Central Group. And I've always said this, and I think I'll always say it, as long as there's a need for communication between human beings, there's always going to be a space for podcasting. So uh, if now's your time, come on over to the Podcasting Central Group on, on Facebook. And as a result, there's a link or two in there that will uh, show you, it's in the um, featured section, it'll lead you 
you to uh, links where you can download my book, Welcome to the Show 1.0, The Complete Podcasting System for Your Business. That's completely free of charge. I just want you to have that as a thank you for coming and joining us uh, inside the group. And last but not least, I am noticing an uptick in subscribers on our YouTube channel. I say it every single time I do the Daily Me. I'm very excited about that. It's not the be all and end all, but it certainly helps to have you as a subscriber. So please drop over to YouTube, uh, type in my future business and like and subscribe to the channel. But up until tomorrow, I'll speak to you then.